I'm just going to quickly introduce us. So I'm Nat. I'm Connections Communications and Outreach uh, Coordinator for Connections. And just so everyone knows, Connections is a nonprofit community organization that serves and uh, promotes the health and well-being of the English language population in Nuitaway. And new to our team is Rebecca here with me today to join me in our coffee chat. So hey. welcome, Rebecca. <laughs> Thank you. I hope everyone is bringing their coffee. And if you don't have one, go get one. We'll wait for you. We're here. Grab a sip. And if you don't drink coffee, tea is fine. Whatever works for you. A nice warm bevy and come join us. We're uh, hoping to just connect with everyone a little bit here. For sure. And we'll keep an eye out if anyone um, has any questions for us or anything this morning. We'll make sure to keep an eye out and to kind of uh, answer your question basically right so absolutely uh, so, so today, today... <laughs> <laughs> go for it <laughs> today we wanted to talk about uh, what it means to connect as family and actually this is going to be sort of the theme that you're going to see running through our week this idea of really being together as a family you know so much of our time as family members, uh, for many of us, tends to be sort of, you know, away from each other. Am I right, Nat? For sure, yeah. Uh, doing all sorts of activities, and our kids are busy, busy, and on the go. And for many of us, this is brand new, this idea of being together, um, being less busy, especially for our kids, having less of their activities. I know Althea had choir and swimming and... I don't know, what are your kids doing normally yeah, through the week? Yeah, mine, well, of course, there's school, but there's also, like, gymnastics. Uh, we've been doing a lot of tutoring online as well. Like, it's been out going outside, just bike riding, um, just busy. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, right? Like, yes. that's kind of changed as well, all of the assignments and stuff that they would normally be doing. and. Yeah, there's this almost this sense of either everybody's together and we're all like, oh my God, uh, why are, why is everyone around? <laughs> or the other thing that I'm finding that is happening with a lot of people I've been talking to is they're kind of discovering that they actually really like each other. <laughs> you know? It's like, oh, hey, let's spend, this is good time together. I actually really enjoy your company, you guys. You yeah. know, people say good morning to each other in the morning. And whereas normally it was like, you know, here's your coffee and out the door. Yeah, yeah, always in a rush, right? For sure. Hugely. So now that we are kind of having this chance to eat our meals together, um, uh, spend time together, talk to one another, we have kind of this opportunity to like review our lives to date, review the busyness that we've been having up to this time and asking ourselves going forward after this, because this is, this is temporary, right? This is not going to be lasting forever that we're all at home together. Mm -hmm. So it gives us a chance to sort of say, what do we like about this togetherness as a family and how do we prioritize that going forward? And are there some things that and activities that we reflect on maybe we don't want to go back to? Or if there are specific things that we want our children in terms of activities or whatever to go back to, at least now it becomes a choice. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I find that now we have time to really breathe, right? You know, <laughs> we have time to just really sit and think about what we're doing and who we're doing it with. So for sure, totally yeah, agree. Yeah. 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 One thing I'm finding tough is uh, carving out one-on-one -on -one time with specific individual members of the family because everybody's all together all the time. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we'll do a bit of a deeper dive into some of that kind of thing. Um, and... Sorry, what were you going to say now? I was going to say that Danielle, just wave hi to us. So Danielle's our executive director. So just to say a big hi, Danielle. Hi, Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about connecting with the family. Um, 
So yeah, this week we'll do a bit of a deeper dive on how we can maximize this time together as we connect as a family. But also I think we need to, to reflect a bit on our um, parental roles, right? Because right now there's a lot of strain on uh, moms and dads in particular of this sense that you have to be a parent, a professional, yeah. right, Nat? Um, yeah, yeah also, sure. Now we're teachers and it's just, it really is truly a stressful situation in many ways. So we're calming yeah. down and we're together more and we're taking the breath, but we're also kind of like, Ugh, uh, I can't do all of this, right? And we're not really supposed to be wearing all these hats all the time. And right. I think and I, th really... I think too that it, it happens so quickly, right? Like just out of the blue, everyone was home yeah. and everyone was like, oh my gosh, like things just changed so rapidly, right? So now we're kind of like in this, moment of balancing everything yeah. but also trying to spend time with our loved ones as well right absolutely so, totally. and in what capacity right like I don't want to mm -hmm. with my kids as like as teacher function right that's yeah. that's not really um my main role and also as you know Nat I I homeschool my one of my children um Do you? And this is not what homeschooling looks like. You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, I'm homeschooling right now. This is not homeschooling. This is like, we're normally out and about. We're at museums. We have co-ops. She has all her activities. This is definitely a feeling of more like social distancing homeschooling or social <laughs> schooling, right? So that's important for people to remember too, that we're not trying to replicate school at home. Definitely. Yeah. As yeah. And I think that's important, right? Because I think a lot of people and parents, right? Like you're saying, mom and dads are really stressed out because they're thinking, oh my God, my kids are going to get behind in school. What are we going to do? We need to kind of sit down and do homework and stuff. But I think that, and we'll go through this actually throughout the next few weeks, right? Sure, yeah. The idea that just doing daily activities with our kids and just the everyday, that's they're learning awesome. through play, right? So Now's the time to really take that time to like connect, right? And to take that time to just breathe and do fun stuff with the family. As, Absolutely, you know, right? Kids are learning all the time. They're not just yes. like school, they're learning yeah. every second. Um, and so we can take, this is our opportunity to kind of take a more relaxed approach to mm -hmm. the learning. Uh, to share our family values because we are our kids first teacher and I'll be sharing below a couple of links to this idea of you are your child's first teacher which basically is is true right when they're born yep. um, the things that we share with them have more of an impact than anything they're going to learn after year four even of their lives right so this is a really a chance too for us to kind of honor the domestic tasks that is a lot yeah, of for a lot for sure. of kids, like, how do you do a lot of laundry? Well, I'll show you <laughs> because I've been doing a lot of laundry. <laughs> Have you been doing a lot of laundry? Yes, although I must say that it's, I've actually, well, I shouldn't say I because Mike, my husband, does all the laundry, okay. but he's, <laughs> he's a good man. But I find it easier now because we have more time to do the laundry, right? <laughs> so we're actually on top of it. So yeah. I'm here been... when the buzz goes off. Bzz, oh yeah, there's a load down there that needs to be folded. Whereas normally I'm out, it buzz goes off and then I have to redo the load because it's full of wrinkles. Anyway. It, it's kind of funny actually that you talk about the buzz because Mike was so annoyed with it that he actually turned it off. <laughs> Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a Maytag from like 1972, so oh. I might not be able to, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, so um, yes, we also wanted to talk about um, this week we'll be getting into the idea of pets as family members as well. I'll be doing a, a special live on um, what are our pets thinking, and I'll be bringing the kids on board for that as well, just to sort of say... Are they wondering why the heck we're here all the time? <laughs> <laughs> For sure, that's a great one. So you'll meet my kids and you'll meet my pets this week. 
Um, we have a ton of stuff going on this week. Yeah, we do. Um, I guess for my lives, which, oh, and just so everyone knows, we'll be doing lives Tuesday to Friday mornings at 11. So, um, Rebecca, you'll be doing Tuesday and Wednesday, no, Tuesday, Thursday. Right. Right. And I was going to do Wednesday, Friday. And for my Wednesday one, I was going to do, uh, I'm going to talk about the calm down kit. You know, I had done a workshop a few weeks ago um, with my parent chat and the parents love the calm down kit. So I'm going to talk about um, using it with your child and doing it together with your child. Right. And uh, it's a great tool for re for relieving stress and whatnot and other things. And I'll just talk about the different things that you can include in it. Right. And then for so Friday, down, you as a parent sorry. could calm down for your kids. Well, well, actually, the great thing is you you can make one for yourself as well, right? Okay. You can do it for anyone, and that's you know even I have. I mean, I think in, we all have our own calm down tools, right? And just for kids, having the kit kind of makes it more. Uh, it's there, right? So they know what to go to. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, I'll talk about that on. Uh, I'm trying to get my days right here on. Wednesday. And what then on day is it? <laughs> it's hard to know what day it is. And then on Friday, I'm actually going to do a, a book reading. I'm going to talk about the invisible. Well, I'm going to read the invisible book with with my little one, Charlie. And then uh, we're going to do a fun activity together afterwards that re that's related to the book. Oh. So you are going to do your pets right on. Is it Tuesday? Pets. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with flow, but I think okay. pets and introduce my crew and, and maybe Tuesday will tomorrow we'll do yeah, a bit more of this deeper dive on, on the, the roles that we're having to play and just how we can connect as family in a bit more of a, a, a relaxed way. <laughs> oh, that'll be, I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah. I think we all need to kind of have that right right now and to kind of um, be part of that. So I think that's a really important one as well. Oh, and we actually have some special guests that will be uh, joining us online, of course, um, every afternoon, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at about 2 p.m. So, so excited. Um, so the first one, which will be actually tomorrow afternoon, will be Lori who will be coming to us from home, uh, Wakefield Bien-Être and Wakefield wet, uh, Wellness. That's what it is. Nice. And, and Laura, Laurie will be doing some yoga stuff with us. So, which is perfect, right? About relaxing, having those tools to kind of just take a breath, right? Um, a and, from a dog's age ago. Yes. It's you. a whole community and a lovely community. It is. Lori from when she was a kid. It's great. <laughs> so lovely. And Lori was also um, our playgroup facilitator as well for our Itsy Bitsy Tots uh, playgroup. That's so as well. Cool. So it'll be really nice to welcome her back. I, I guess she'll be our first guest, right? So that'll be totally awesome. And then on Wednesday, we're actually going to be welcoming uh, Jen Corey. She's actually a really long time friend of ours that we knew. Well, you knew her a lot longer than me, I think, right? No, we met her at the no. in Sishup. Oh, yeah. we did? Okay. So we met her when we were at uh, Heritage. And she's actually at Heritage. She's an English lit teacher um, or professor at Heritage College. And she'll be joining us on Wednesday to do a book reading as well. Um, and the fun thing, the amazing thing, is that she also teaches youth at Heritage uh, Children's Lit. So I'm just wondering, what is the book again that she'll be uh, reading for us? I think she was going to do Home for a Bunny. Yes. But I don't think it's fully mm. chosen yet, but it's okay. a nice sort of spring read. and ah, That'll be a lovely one, yeah. It'll be really nice. And then on Thursday, again at 2, we're actually going to have Las Dejeux who's going to be joining us. I think that'll be amazing. Oh, we've got more people who are saying uh, thanks for doing this. Eleanor and Jennifer uh, saying she misses a little one. Jennifer is actually our uh, facilitator. Well, was our facilitator until we had to cancel uh, for the, for uh, a few weeks ago for our playgroup as well. Um, so, yeah. So, Thursday, we're going to be... Um, Welcoming uh, Las Dejeux, who come and actually 
tell us about their business because they're actually still online and they're delivering their toys and games and activities and puzzles to everyone in the community. That's brilliant. So they're going to be talking. Yeah. So they're going to be talking to us about that. And hopefully maybe they'll even, you know, show us a few of their games or a game or whatnot. So I think, I think we've got a really amazing week. It does sound like a really that. amazing week. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I guess that's it then. I'm so excited. We've got a lot going on. And it's nice to just connect like this first thing in the week too, because now I feel like I'm not on track. Okay. The week has <laughs> formally begun now. I've had my coffee and yeah. I know what's coming. So I hope that everybody also has their coffee and is, is yes. ready for joining us this week. It'll be great. It'll be great. Yeah, for sure. So just a quick bye to everyone. But we'll be back soon. So make sure to visit us as we'll be watching you as well and uh, hoping to talk to you soon. Bye.